Because on to the day day, I'm talking about the Edo governorship election. Let's turn to Edo North with over 500,000 registered voters. Asira Yeku is precisely in Auchi. You've been talking to voters ahead of this election. It looks like it's raining where you are. Walk us through what you've been able to gather on election eve. Uh, it's pretty interesting that, uh, yeah, the countdown is on. Election is on Saturday. And, uh, of course, just like we talked about yesterday, the weather condition here in Edo State, it's pretty dicey. Uh, so we're expecting that there will be light showers on Election Day. And so for today, we've seen um, INOC officials uh, from the headquarters of Isako West local government. That's Auchi, where I am at. Uh, they've distributed uh, sensitive and non-sensitive materials to the various registration areas, that's to the wards. Uh, hopefully by election time tomorrow morning, these election materials will get to the 322 polling units that we're expecting to see across the local government. And so you know that this local government, of course, eyes are on this local government. And just like you wrote earlier, it, this local government is one of the swing regions, you know, for this election. It can influence the possible outcome, you know, for this election. And, um, you know, there are political weights in this North Senatorial District that may be deciders for this election. Apart from the three contenders that we have, uh, the three con top contenders on the ballot, uh, this particular Senatorial District is a decider for these three contenders. And when we spoke with most of the residents, uh, particularly at the market while they were making their last minute purchase uh, for tomorrow for election day they had talked about some persons were optimistic but we met a lot of pessimistic um residents who didn't want to said they were not going to come out to vote uh, citing various reasons fuel scarcity just in benin city fuel is being sold at about 1220 naira right and just imagine five hours away from benin city how much petrol will be and just one of the few filling stations that we saw the queue there was massive. And so you can, you can imagine what the people here are going through. Uh, someone said he bought a bag of rice, 110,000 naira. So they feel that the economic situation, the fuel scarcity, the high cost of living, like there's nothing to come out for. And uh, even when I tried encouraging them to come out and vote for the next governor of the state, they feel that they've lost confidence, you know, in the leadership, in, in those who they eventually elect. And so... While some persons are pessimistic, we're hoping that um, tonight, you know, with the door-to-door -door campaigns from the various political parties, they can actually sway the minds of the electorate. Well, let's hope that uh, those you spoke with are in the minority. I'm sure that all the stakeholders are counting on an improvement in voter turnout from the last election, which was well below 30%. But yesterday when we spoke, Sarah, you talked about bad roads and, you know, you've also talked about the weather. Did you raise these concerns with INEC officials? Um, what's their plan with logistics to be able to navigate these um, conditions? If I mean, interestingly, uh, the INEC official we got at this local government was not really receptive. Uh, so it was like, um, I can't speak with you. Uh, and we were like, we're from TVC. We just want to get information about distribution and all of that stuff. And he wasn't really receptive to us. So we just left him. And then something concerning that we saw at the INEC office here in the local government was there were, there were some guys, you know, sitting across the INEC office and just watching watching anyone who goes in. They are even questioning those who go into the INEC office. They are not security operatives whatsoever. And they were even asking us, telling us where to park, where not to park. They said they just wanted to be seen the INEC office for themselves. So that's, uh, the heightened tension is there, the tension is there. Even though the police have said that they would try to douse that tension. Here in the local government, they've deployed over a thousand, about a thousand police officers. That's aside the sister, sister agencies that will be coming to assist the police officers in this electoral process. So they've deployed a thousand to the five divisions in this local government. And hopefully, when election day comes, that number will speak volumes and it will speak peace, credible and fair election. Sarah, we have to go now, just in a minute. Can you confirm if those police personnel have been deployed? They have been deployed. They have been deployed to the various um, areas that they will be at. As a, of course, they would have gone along with the election materials that would have been dispersed at the INEC office. 
Sarah Ayeko live for us in Auchi. Auchi is, is in Edonov Senatorial District. Hip safe, Sarah, we're back with you when you have more updates for us. Let's talk about concerns around security ahead of this election.